everyone, today we're going to show you three different stitches to sew around the edge of your raw edge applique. First of all, to do this stitch, you'll need to have a blanket stitch on your sewing machine. We're using a shiny rayon machine embroidery thread on the top, bobbin fill in the bobbin, a size 75 machine embroidery needle and an open toe foot. First of all, start with long threads and put the needle in the outside edge of the applique. As you stitch, your straight stitches will be going on the outside edge of the shape and when it goes in and out, it's going into the shape. To sew a corner, stitch to the corner, and then sew in and out, and continue sewing. Whenever you feel that you need to stop and pivot, only do that when the needle is on the outside edge because if you stopped with the needle on the inside edge to pivot, you would distort the stitch. With this stitch, tear away or stabilizer is optional because if your fabric is firm enough and has enough body, you won't need to use it. But if your work is puckering up, then it's a good idea to use tear away stabilizer. At the moment, I'm not using tear away stabilizer. Blanket stitch is not an exact science. Sometimes your stitch may not end up in the corner, just where you wanted it, but you can always fudge your way around. Also, try to choose a stitch that only ever moves forwards and to the left and right. There are blanket stitches that go backwards and forwards and then left and right, but they can be a little bit tricky to keep your eye on where the stitch is. I'm just overlapping a little bit there. And I'm going to finish with long threads and then I'm going to pull my threads to the back and tie them off. And here's my finished shape with blanket stitching around the edge. For those who don't have a blanket stitch on their machine, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple open zigzag around the edge of your applique shape. This is great for beginners and anyone can do this stitch. I have my machine set up with machine embroidery thread on the top. I've got a size 75 machine embroidery needle, an open toe foot and bobbin fill in the bobbin. I'm starting with long threads and I have a zigzag with a width of two and a length of 0.5. So that's not quite as closed up as a satin stitch. You can use tearaway stabilizer underneath if you like, but once again, you'll find that if your work is firm enough and it's not puckering, you won't need to use it. This time when we're sewing, we're going to be stitching just on the edge and then into the stitch or into your applique shape. So I like to say that we're going once on the outside edge and in. So it's like an in out kind of stitch. When you're sewing with a zigzag and you're sewing what I call an inside curve, which is something like the curve of this heart shape is at the moment, stop with your needle on the inside edge to pivot. When you sew a corner, which is an outside corner, you sew with your needle all the way to the edge of the corner and you stop with your needle on the outside edge. I'm then going to turn and then what I like to do is lift the needle and then I just shift forward slightly so that when I put my needle back down it actually goes into the zigzag and it doesn't end up forming a lump on the outside edge. Using a zigzag that's as narrow as this makes it very easy for turning corners. Now I'm sewing what I call an outside curve, so when I feel that I need to stop and pivot, I stop with the needle on the outside edge. Once I start getting to tighter curves, I'll have to stop and pivot more often. So stopping with my needle on the outside edge and very gently moving the work.
Now, if you were to see your bobbin thread come up to the top, that means that you need to loosen your top tension. I normally have my tension on three when I'm doing this kind of stitch. Um, I'm now going to sew what I call an inside corner. So this time I'm going to stitch past the corner and I'm actually going to stop with my needle on the inside edge. When I pivot, you'll see I'm stitching into the zigzag. I'm not leaving a gap or an opening there. And now continuing on to my outside curve again. A heart shape is the perfect shape to test your zigzag stitch on because you've got the outside curves, inside curves, inside corners and outside corners. To finish off, I'm just going to stitch over the top of where I started, just a little bit. And then I'm going to finish with long threads, which I'll tie off to the back. And here's my finished zigzag stitch. And now I'm going to show you how to do satin stitch. Satin stitch is more of an advanced stitch, but it gives a really beautiful filled in effect on the edge of your applique shape. Once again, I'm using a shiny rayon machine embroidery thread on the top. I have a size 75 machine embroidery needle. I have bobbin fill in the bobbin and I have my open toe foot on. With satin stitch, it's always a great idea to use a tearaway stabilizer because our work does need to be nice and stable for this stitch. I'm just using a zigzag stitch which I have put on a small length of 0.3 and I've got a width of 2.5 so it's a narrow filled in stitch. Begin sewing with long threads and your first stitch goes just on the outside edge of your applique shape. As you're sewing along, never push. Always just let the machine take your work through at its own pace. You will be tempted to push because you'll see it's actually moving through a lot slower because there's a lot more stitches for the machine to do to get that nice close-up stitch. Same principle as our zigzag stitch. When you're on an inside curve, you need to stop with your needle on the inside edge to pivot and maneuver your work. We're going to sew all the way down to the corner, so we're going to stop with our needle on the outside edge because it's an outside corner. I'm then just going to pivot and I'm going to raise the needle and the foot and I'm going to shift forward just slightly so that when my needle goes back in, once again, it's actually biting into the actual satin stitch itself. Now, when I get to a curved corner, it's an outside curve, so stopping with my needle on the outside edge to pivot. Once again, stopping on the outside to pivot, because if I stop with my needle on the inside edge, I would end up opening up and making a little V shape in my satin stitch. approach my inside corner I'm going to sew past the corner stop with your needle on the inside edge lift the foot pivot and then bring your needle up and then when your foot goes down or when the needle goes down you'll go just into the zigzag again and continue stitching so that you can pull them through to the back. A couple of important tips is to definitely use a tearaway stabilizer behind your work when doing satin stitch. Also make sure if you don't have an open toe foot, you need a foot that has a groove on the bottom of it. Now what that groove does is it helps you to slide over the top of the satin stitch and prevents your work from bunching up. Here are our three different stitches for raw edge applique. We 
hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.